Boy, I think so much opportunity. Um, I think where we're starting the year uh, will be so much different than where we end the year, probably where we end the decade. Um, I think there's so much innovation and opportunity for every company to grow. Um, I think the question that we're facing, and I think lots of others, is what experience makes sense to start first? Um, knowing that probably no one has figured it out yet and everybody's sorting in the learning phase, um, thinking about where we want to start, um, what sort of experiences make sense, um, and where AI can be supportive and helpful in the customer experience, and then sort of being willing to test and learn, and maybe not being perfect right out of the gate, um, but knowing that where we'll end up if we're willing to test and learn um, will allow us to eventually be you know, one of the companies that, that uses this in a really powerful way with our customers. I think at this point it's still in early stages and so the impact that it's having I, is more conceptual than actual. Even in some of the, the talks this morning trying to find companies that are using it in a way that is truly having an impact is a little bit um, challenging but I think there's a lot of potential there. So in whether it's in helping agents get the information that they need more quickly or helping customers. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see which direction it goes. Personally, I think helping agents find information very quickly so that they can still have that human-to-human -human connection with customers um, is really important. Coming from the retail world, anytime that we can build a relationship with a customer and have them know who we are um, as a brand is very important. So when we take out all of that human connection, uh, we're losing something. Uh, so my hope is that there's the, always the combination between the two. Yeah, I think AI is going to be very significant in 2017 and beyond. Um, our focus on AI is more about streamlining the experience, not necessarily supplanting our agents, but more or less enhancing the agent experience with the customer by gathering some upfront information, providing it to the agent, so therefore when the agent's interacting with the customer, we've got the information up front and making it easier to provide that interaction and better experience for the customer. I think that for 2017 we're going to be thinking about all of our channels and how we can continue to be where our customers want to be. Um, so at the end of 2016 we started using SMS, um, chat, uh, we're very big on video chat. Now with Instagram all of our um, SWAT stylists, our agents have Instagram accounts so we're playing more with Instagram Live and how we can create content for our customers that is both one-to-one -one and on a larger scale. Um, so I think uh, more of a focus on that and figuring out what new technologies we can use to really better that customer experience and thinking about what our customers want um, and how we want our customers to know us uh, and to learn more about who we are as a brand. Yeah, I think, I think there's going to be a lot of focus on how we can interact more and reach out to our customers through different mediums, right? I think one of the things that we're seeing now is the proliferation, obviously, of social media and using it as a tool from a support perspective. So that's going to be a big thing in, in 2017. How do we provide that interaction through that tool? Uh, the other thing that I'm seeing as a big issue is how do we leverage, how do companies leverage their relationship with their customers to provide better service, right? So be, either being with communities to say, hey, this user wants to help another user, how do we make that happen and occur? The other thing too, I think is gonna be more about self-service. A lot of these millennials don't really want to interact with a person, they want to solve the problem themselves. So how do you make the help center and the self-service tools better for the customer so they can answer their own questions without having to interact with uh, somebody in the company? So those are similar things that we're gonna be working on in 2017 for Evernote. So we're gonna be looking, focusing on improving that piece also, also make sure it's up, up front so people know how to access it without having to dig down deep for it. And that's the other thing that we're going to be working on. And then, like I said, the second thing will be doing just the community piece. How do we find and identify more experts, if you will, of our products to communicate with our uh, customers as they come in and ask for questions issues with their product? I think for us, um, it's really about um, control and transparency for our guests. Um, I think being able to um, understand where um, the guest is at any point in the journey and where they want to be. Um, I think what we're learning is that guests increasingly want to be able to um, have some level of control and autonomy over the experience. Um, as complex as the conversations are that are coming into the contact center, um, they want to be able to take action and be able to take action in a way that's really powerful. Um, and to the extent that they can have control and transparency, 
Um, I think some of the leaders in our, in our world broadly that are not even in apparel retail are really influencing how our people um, think about customer experience. Um, but you can see exactly which car you're getting when you rent an Uber, or when you, and so seeing where it is, how many blocks away it is, um, who's actually driving it, and then you know, thinking about that we can't even tell you where your package is, I think just ex you know, sort of highlights where the gap is right now um, in customer experience in the worlds that, that we're in. Um, and what the opportunity for us to grow over the next couple of years. Customer expectations, I think, will lead us um, to get better, and I think there'll be tons of opportunities for brands to, um, to improve.